I know you're a sopa, you are an experienced sopa, but you have been having challenges with how you can actually boost your production to earn more quantity, thereby making more profit. Or you have been having challenges like how you can actually um, use palm oil in your recipe to make a very good soap that actually ladders well. So many persons are not used to hot procedures and semi-hot procedures, although they are the best procedures if you are talking about profit recipes. Some persons are just used to making uh, cold procedures. So that is why I'm making this video for you guys, for you to see how you can use palm oil and some enormous amount of water using cold procedure method to actually multiply the quantity of soap you are making. This is one and a half liters of oil and we'll be making 27 pieces of bar soap using only one and a half liters of oil. If you have not made this quantity before using the same quantity of oil, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Welcome back and thanks for not going anywhere. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Also put on your notification bell so that whenever I drop new content, you'll be the first person to be notified. This cold procedure way of making bar soap or, or semi-hot process. In cold process, you actually need to make sure that your light, which is a caustic soda, is very cold, very, very cold before you actually start making soap but i'll mix everything at once and i'll make use of everything the quantities of all the things i'll be using it will be stated on the screen for the water quantity the water is 1.2 liters of water 1.2 liters of water that's one liter plus extra 200 nails of water to it i added my caustic soda and then my little soda ash you can actually make this recipe without soda ash I know that the cost of chemicals are fast rising in the market. You can make use of the soda ash dense or the soda ash light. The chemical formula doesn't change. It's just the density of the, the that is the difference between soda ash light and soda ash dense. One is lighter, one is uh, uh, more coarse. The lighter one is used for powdered detergents more, you understand? So anyone you want to use, you use. So I'm using as little as 80 grams and then my calcium of which I added and then my uh, sodium sulfate. This is foam booster. I made this foam booster myself. Please, you can actually buy foam booster in the market. The reason I'm adding this foam booster is because for this oil quantity I'm making, one and a half liters of oil, one liter of the oil will be bleached palm oil, while 500 ml will be palm kernel oil. So once the bleached palm oil is more, is more in your recipe, you may need foam booster to help it. This is silicate I just added right now. Like I said, the quantities are displayed on the screen, so you can use a pen and a jotter and jot them down. I won't be mentioning the quantities as I'm going forward. So after mixing everything, just set it aside and then measure your oil. This is my oil. I have bleach palm oil, one and a half liter. And then I will be adding extra 500 ml of palm kernel oil to help with the foaming ability. Palm oil makes your soap to last long. If people are telling you your soap doesn't last, it dissolves quickly, this recipe will save you. I'm not making use of only palm, oil, palm, palm kernel oil. I'm making use of palm oil that I bleach with fire and then palm kernel oil. Into the oil, I'll add my calcium to it. This is 250 grams of calcium to be able to hold the quantity of oil I'm using. If you don't have calcium carbonate, please make use of kaolin clay or any clay of your choice, bentonized clay. The reason we are adding this clay is to give your soap weight. There are some persons in wherever they stay, when people try buying their soap, the first thing is they check is the weight. They lift it and tell you, ah, it has weight or not before they even perceive it and tell you it's smelling nice or not. You understand? So you need the calcium filler to be able to hold the soap. That does not mean that you can't make soap without calcium carbonate. What I added right now is just palm panel oil. Try and see if you go to the market. Look out for these calibrated cups. Buy them. Calibrated cups and jugs. It will help you in your production, especially if you make a lot of things. 
so that you stop cracking your head on how to measure 100 mil, 200 mil, 150 mil, 1 liter. Buy them. So this is my fragrance. I'm using 20 mil of my fragrance. This is Ambipo. But please, this is the original undiluted Ambipo. It's not the diluted ones that they sell, they sell in the stores around you. This is original undiluted Ambipo. And the quantity I'm using is enough to cover the to, to max the smell of palm oil and give me a beautiful outcome in my soap reduction. Now, because it's bleach palm oil, it will already have a tan color. You, we all know how bleach color, bleach palm oil colors. So, if you don't want to add color to it, no problem. If you want to add purple, green color, blue, add any color of your choice. But know that that the tan color. The tan color of the palm, existing palm oil will always affect the color you choose. I don't think you should be choosing pink color when you are using this kind of uh, uh, tan colored oil. You use those bright colors if your oils are pale. So I'm choosing color yellow because it's a little bit close to what I have here. You can use color yellow, you can use color orange, you can use green. If you use green, it will come out as army green because of the color of the oil. So once you are done, Remember, I mixed everything into my water, 1.2 liters, and I'm now pouring it into my 1.5 liters of oil. Please, I know when you are making soap that they have told you, first pour in caustic, cover it, later you now pour in this one, later you, after this one, you pour silicate, after this one. Please, if you're a beginner, and you, this, those things are being difficult for you to note which one to which one to add and which one not to add. Please mix everything in your mixing bowl and turn it into your oil and pour your soap. Please stop making unnecessary mistakes. Mix everything together and then you add your foam booster. Especially if your foam booster is made with SLS, don't bother putting it into the bulk of your um, caustic light. Add your foam booster separately the way I added it. Please. Let me not forget to mention, before I started making this soap, the oil, I, I, immediately I bleached the oil, I let it cool down a bit before making use of it. So the oil is a little bit warm, the oil is not cold. The oil is a little bit warm and not cold. That's why it is this fluidy. But don't worry, before you know it, it will start setting. So immediately you finish turning it, don't go anywhere. Just make sure your mold is ready so that we can pour it straight into the mold. Once you pour it into the mold, allow it to set. But what I did now was to use my spatula and stir it a little bit so that all these large bubbles you are seeing on the surface can actually disappear. This is a very simple process. If you've been having difficulties in soap making, you won't have difficulty if you are with me. I have free receipts I share here on YouTube, my YouTube channel. These receipts are worth up to 10,000 naira out there if somebody is teaching it. To you but i teach it to you guys free so that you can see something you can do to earn money for yourself apart from that i also run online classes i also have private paid videos especially the profit advanced receipts for it is good for people who are already into soap making and maybe profit is their issue they are not making profit and they are looking for a whole receipt that can take up to a bulk of four, four liters of water three liters of water and all that I have those kind of races that immediately you finish making your soap, it will harden. But they are paid and not free. Please. So please let me let's watch and see how I cut the soap and enjoy the video. I hope you try this out. I hope you also have a good outcome the way I have a good outcome. Remember, I use a very little soda ash. After making this soap, you will not have the issue of seeing white patches on the surface of your soap irrespective of the fact that you use very hard oils but you hardly have it because of the reduced quantity of the soda ash that i use and also the caustic soda please just use it the way i made use of it on this video and you have a good outcome i wish everybody the best in whatever you are doing whatever you are producing thank you for being with me on my channel and thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for liking this video thank you all